Heading into the next NFL season, there's no doubt about it, the Steelers wanted to upgrade their backfield and find a true workhorse running back. And that's what they did early on in the draft, drafting Najee Harris in the first round. Today, let's get into Najee Harris's film and really analyze what he brings to the Steelers and what kind of dynamics this means heading into the next season for the Steelers' offense. So let's get into the film breakdown. Jumping into this first play, I really want to highlight some of the best qualities of Najee Harris as a runner, and it's his physicality, his ability to drag defenders for extra yards, his ability to run through arm tackles and just finish runs consistently. Also on top of that, I really want to keep an eye out for his vision as we head into this first play. So pre-snap, we got an outside zone look to the left by the Alabama offense. And at the snap of the ball here, I really want to focus on how Najee's going to manipulate the safety to the outside here who's stepping up into the box. So as we freeze the frame, we're going to see the safety here. He stepped up to the outside trying to keep contained to force Najee back inside to where the bodies are at, where the linebackers and the interior D-linemen are at. Najee sees us, so he's going to put his foot in the ground. He's going to press vertical to manipulate that safety to jump inside. But now that safety's jumping inside, he loses contain out here. And now the tight ends are easily able to climb up, seal that safety inside. We see Alex Leatherwood here. He's getting really good lateral movement, widening that defensive lineman out. And it's going to allow a crease here for Najee Harris to put his foot in the ground, bounce back out, and crease right down the sideline. And with that, look at the finish by Najee. Look how he's carrying defenders on his back for those extra three, four yards, being a physical runner. This is going to be huge help for him, especially late into games, being a tone setter for the Steelers' offense. Jumping to this next play, I want to keep the same spotlight on Najee Harris's vision and his ability to set up blocks and manipulate second-level defenders to create lanes for himself. Pre-snap, once again, we're going to see Alabama's run an outside zone here. Taking a look at the snap of the ball here, I really want to focus on the front side here and look at all the lateral movement the offensive line gets. They got all three of these down linemen here moving laterally, getting a ton of movement, and they're going to be left at a numbers advantage here. They have five blockers for only four defenders here, and it's going to put number 40 circled in red here in a bind. He's going to have to play this extremely well. He's got to make sure he takes away the cutback lane from Najee, but he also can't allow this front side crease to happen. Najee knows this, so he manipulates the backer by putting his foot in the ground and pressing to the backside. This creates the backer to have to fill the lane backside. Najee sees the linebacker overcommit here, and now that he's walled off by the two extra blockers here, he knows he has the crease to the front side. He puts his foot in the ground and explodes forward, picking up a really nice chunk yardage gain here. Once again, I'll have to play a role from the top, but this is a really nice example of Najee Harris's vision and his ability to manipulate second-level defenders to create bigger creases for himself. Also, it's a really nice example of Najee Harris's quick jump cut that he utilizes a lot in the backfield to manipulate second-level defenders. Now, jumping to this next play, I want to flip the gears off Najee Harris running the ball, and I want to look at Najee in the passing game. So as we see here, Alabama's going to be running their favorite concepts here. They're going to be running a mesh concept underneath, but they're going to be tagging a halfback wheel out of the backfield. At the snap of the ball, we're going to see the Georgia defense overcommit here. They're going to come flying up, and it's going to leave space here for Najee to work his wheel route out into. We see circled in white. The underneath defender is caught behind him. The safety's over the top here, so there's a huge window for Najee to settle into. And Najee has the natural instinct here to slow down a little bit and not take a big shot from the safety. He's going to slow down to that window, allow an easy throw for Mac Jones just to toss it over the top, pick up a nice first down here. This is almost like Arian Foster-like ability just to get out in the backfield and have that natural knack to really slow down in space and really settle into the opening of the zones and not put yourself in the way of taking a kill shot from the safety. Overall, we've seen a lot of good stuff from Najee. We've seen him be able to be effective out of the passing game. In the running game, we've seen him flash really good vision, really nice jump cuts to bounce around and find creases in the backfield. But now I want to flip the gears of his running style, and I really want to look at his one-cut ability just to put his foot in the ground and explode forward. So pre-snap here, we got an outside zone look by the Bama offense. And at the snap of the ball, I really want to highlight the job the offensive line does here. Looking at the front side here, we got the left tackle and left guard here circled in red. We see that they're getting really good movement, widening that defensive end out. The guard here, he's climbing really well to seal off that front side backer. Now on the back side here, also circled in red, we see the center, Landon Dickerson, does a great job reaching the nose tackle. The backside guard comes up here, walling off this backside backer. Najee sees the crease, he puts his foot in the ground and gets vertical. He's not overthinking it, he's not bouncing around and taking a risk of losing yards on this play. He's taking what the offensive line gives him here. So once again, I'll have to play a role from the top. But this is really nice vision from Najee, just be able to recognize the crease and be able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. 
Overall, we've seen a lot to like from Najee Harris. He's a physical, tone-setting running back that's going to be dominant, especially late in the fourth quarter in games. We've also seen him have really nice elite-level vision, be able to set up blocks for himself, and manipulate second-level defenders. But also on top of that, we've seen his ability to be a one-cut back to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. Also throughout this past season, we've seen him thrive in the power gap scheme system that Alabama also runs. So in my opinion, Najee Harris is like a Swiss Army knife. He's able to fit in a zone or gap scheme offense. On top of that, he's also elite out of the backfield, being able to find a knack to find opening in the zones. He's also athletic enough to run crisp routes. Overall, Najee Harris is almost like a Swiss Army knife. So for the Steelers to add another weapon like this, they are absolutely loaded at the skilled position. But now this comes back to a few of my concerns I have heading into the next season. By drafting Najee Harris in the first round, they missed out on a lot of strong offensive line talent. And I think heading into this next season, that's going to be where a lot of the questions and concerns for the Steelers team is going to be around is can the Steelers' offensive line develop and take a step from last year, be able to help create creases for Najee Harris and create lanes for Najee Harris to create explosive plays like he did at Alabama all of last year. Overall, though, like I said, Najee Harris is like a Swiss Army knife. I think the Steelers got their workhorse back for years to come. He's extremely talented. He can do everything out of the backfield. He's a true three-down back, and I think Steelers fans should be excited moving forward. But let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think Najee Harris will do next year? Do you think he'll be productive like he was at Alabama, or do you think he's the next running back bust? Let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.